Alright, time to play a game. A game about... Uh, revenge. Petty revenge. And also... Uh... Heroes. Buxom heroes. Gigantic, big-breasted women. Woman, sorry. One woman, singular. And her trusted companion, Ballsack. Yeah, she's got very big knockers. You know, they're just kind of there. <laughs> to anyone who is afraid of boobs, don't worry. The entire game does not focus on them. Here we go! She saved the universe again! LOL. It's posted on Spacebook. Dude, way to hog the glory, but you rock. Seriously, that's Balzac. He gave him the thumbs up. The Space Prince says, Bitch, what the fuck you doing outside the kitchen? And our heroine Serena S. says, Hold that thought. And there you go. There's the plot for the entire game. Someone insulted us on Space Facebook. And now we're going to go down to his planet through all of his massive defenses and, uh, you know, probably kick him in the balls. Because that's 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 a game for you. We'll just play it on normal. So here you go, Zone Zero. Starts off simple enough. We can just shoot the fuck out of shit. We can get hit. Can't take very many hits. It's been my experience that just spamming the fire button seems to work. Best to kill things before you can even see them. That's that's usually the best course of action. I'm not sure if our trusty companion ball sack out there can do anything. Yes, I do know it sounds like scrotum. I, I get it. I, I'm pretty sure that was a joke. No need to point that out. But hey, we're we're doing all right. We're surviving the asteroids. Meteors? I don't know. Probably doesn't technically qualify as a meteor unless it's like entering or exiting the... I don't know. Of course, this is all pointless because, as you're about to see, one way or the other, we're probably going to go down. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way to survive all that shit or not. I doubt it. One way or the other, you're going down. And here we are, Zone 1! Behold, the dreaded ice beat. well, snow beast, whatever. We have absolutely no weapons, except for, you know, ball sack. I don't know what the hell ball sack's supposed to be. Maybe I'm mispronouncing his name, it could be Balzac. I still say it's pretty obvious what they were going for. Why not? He's the only thing that can do damage. I dig the art, the animation, the music, the controls. Some people bitch about them. I think they feel like an old school sort of game where, you know, they're not horrible controls, but they could be better, but whatever. I don't mind. I like it. And, you know, you get to play as a hot chick. Why not? So here we are, at the checkpoint. We finally get a gun. The gun's kinda shitty. We can hold down the fire button. The longer we hold it down, the slower our rate of fire goes. This can be remedied by just, you know, letting go. And then you can do that. It, but whatever, we gotta shoot this door. Gun very weak. But we need to kill people. Because... Points. Points are important. Very important. You don't realize how important until you get to that point. But we'll, we'll just keep accumulating points. These yellow things, I'm surprised I managed to jump over that one. Annoying. That's an enemy generator up there. You want to destroy it so the enemies never spawn again? Good luck. Uh, no invincibility frames, hardly. Which really... 
does not help when you're low on health. So we get to walk all the way back there. And we get a shitload of lives, that's fine. It's all well and good. Really like this music. Really, really like this level. I don't know why. I saw gameplay of this, I heard this one level music, and I was like, I was sold. I'm like, hey. I'll buy a copy of this today. Why not? It's based off of a game for the ZX Spectrum, if you've ever played on this system. I haven't. The game was called Phantas. Or it has a lot of uh, similar elements to what's going on here. I wouldn't know. I haven't checked out that game. Completely clueless. But what does it matter? We're down here, we're exploring all this stuff. This prince is very full of himself, he's got posters even in the toxic jungle wasteland beneath the ice mountain. I can't tell if that's like a little miniature stalagmite volcano going on there or not. It's just architecture. Background. Unimportant. But yeah, we picked up an anti-gravity thing. It does not do exactly what you think it would do. It's, uh... We can't float forever. But we have a better... We got a higher jump. That's that's all it does. That's about all that does. And that's all it needs to do. So yeah, you may notice we get combos. Combos are good. Also, your friend Ballsack over here, please let him get through. It's only important if you want to play the final level of the game to help him progress through the level with you. I always miss that one up on that screen above me. Every single time. I forget it's there. That's okay. It doesn't really much matter. Why doesn't it matter? Because, you know, hey, we got ten lives. I, I doubt we'll be burning through them all. It is possible to get a game over. Some people say that the game over screen is kind of sexist. Mainly because it involves our heroine here. Uh, face down on the ground with her ass up in the air. With a caption reading, this is awkward, isn't it? Or something to that effect. But, you know, whatever. Getting your ass beat by eyeless bats and guys with guns who never shoot them, you know, that is kind of awkward, so I have to agree with that. This door. It's got an S above it. You need to remember that. For later. How much later? Not too much later. We'll be getting to that very, very quickly. Just remember that we can get back up there. Frogs! These are annoying. The frogs. But, we are going to have to grind on them a little bit. You know, with, with bullets. Which is okay. Usually, if they shoot their tongues out at you, if you duck them or jump them, you can, you'll be fine. It's, it's just when you do neither of those that bad stuff kind of happens. Like you die, you know. So pick up that S-Coin, you want it. I forget exactly how many points we need. Actually, a hundred thousand might be enough, but I'm thinking of the future. And they're worth 900 points times six, so, you know... And they keep spawning pretty well, so I, I think I think it would be in my best interest to shoot a few of them while I'm here, for reasons. You know, to save myself trouble later on. Of course, it would help if they didn't spawn and jump into a chasm like that. That would be helpful. That's fine. 
I'll take that hit. As long as this music's playing, I'm good with it. Because like I said, I do... I do like this track for some reason. Ah well, I think this ought to be enough points for now. Let's just... shoot that thing. Oh, those fangs. We've killed a few of them already, but they're especially aggressive. Alright, now we can go into here. And say hello to this guy. I don't know what his name is. He doesn't really have one. He's kind of mystical. We've got idle animation, in case you didn't weren't paying attention. We have a choice. We can buy a mirror cape or explosive ammo. I'm going to buy... Well, that was the wrong button to press. I will buy explosive ammo. Explosive ammo, what does it do? It, uh, well... It makes, when you when your shot hits something and it spreads in four directions, not very useful. I'll be honest with you, kind of kind of a lame upgrade. I guess if your enemy's hiding behind an obstacle or something, it would be kind of useful. It'll do damage through the obstacle, I, I, I guess. I've never really seen it in practice like that. Never really had any opportunity to to get that to happen. It doesn't kill anything any quicker. Frog guys still take a couple hits. You may notice I've gone back over here to grind the hell on them. Because there are secret shops in different areas. Weapons are very expensive. For the most part. They cost more than the other upgrades. And, you know, unless you want me to grind on something else in the next level, I think I'll just get this done right here, right now. At least up to a point. You know, there's a certain point where I'll probably be safe to stop grinding. But for right now, right this moment, you know, we'll, we'll just enjoy the... Ah, fuck it. I lied. I'm, I'm done grinding. Plus, I got killed anyway, so, you know, it doesn't matter. But we'll, we'll go ahead and kill what we can on the way out. Grab me another one up. And we'll just be on our merry little way. Well, okay, you know, assuming I can... There we go. That's all I had to do. Let's make that jump. That's, that's, that's all I had to do. And... Might as well grab this one. Ah, there we go. Enemies will spawn everywhere if you give them a chance. No, I I thought this was a very well done game, considering it was made by one individual. <laughs> it's short, but you know, good enough. So we got our first boss, carnivorous plant thing. It'll spew on you. It'll try to jab you, and then it'll summon you know tendrils from the ground. And also be aware that there's going to be a little mini plant right there that will spawn as well. But all in all, not that big a deal. As long as you stay moving when you need to stay moving and, you know, make sure to take care of business when business needs to be taken care of. Did I? No, I, no, I moved just in time. I mean, you can tell where the little plants are going to spawn. They have little pods in the ground. And 
time to take care of business. Time for the kick-ass victory music. Very nice. I don't know. Just feels very... I don't know, I've never seen a Genesis game like this, but for some reason it kind of reminds me of something... Maybe it's the music mostly taking me back to that. Okay, well, Zone 2. Deep inside the ice caves. I have no idea what that enemy is that keeps popping out of the ground. You can do what the arrow says. Go downward. That would be a mistake. You could make that mistake. And have to deal with the bottom half of the level and miss out on shit. Or you could go this way. Deal with the Cyclops fish. A little bit. Just kind of navigate around here. Now what exactly you need to do isn't very clear at first. It involves a little bit of trial and error. You need to drop down here. Because you need to drop here and get that S coin. But don't drop all the way back down. No, you need to stay up here. Stay here, you'll be fine. Continue making your forward progress up here. Try not to die. Unless you really want to start all the way back at the beginning of the ice cave area. Which maybe you do. I won't judge you if you like having to do shit over and over again. I keep messing up that jump. I'm probably going to have to do that at some point in the near future. Start all the way over. Fully for me. Or maybe not. Maybe I will make this get through this barrier in enough time. And get to... Yeah, there we go. Checkpoint. Very nice. So we gotta, we gotta ride this rock over here. You may notice that it keeps going even though we are stuck there. If you did miss your opportunity, you could wait for the rock to come back. It will bounce off this and, and you know, repeat its journey. But yeah, there are the secret shops up here. <laughs> Don't want to miss out on the secret shop. There's the option to buy the mirror cape again, but here's what I really want. Rapid fire add-on. Yes. I will enjoy the fuck out of my new toy. Because now... Now I'm as close to death incarnate as I can get in this game. There's another weapon upgrade you can buy after this. I won't be getting it because three-way fire, not worth it. Make sure to help your friend out there. And now we can get back to this part of the game. Who wants to see all the shit we had to miss in Bypass? I'll show you. Why not? We basically would have been waiting in water the whole level if we had gone to the bottom in the beginning. Uh, the, the main problem with that is these dragons that are in the water, which will kill you in one hit if they bite you. They're worth a shitload of points. Kind of hard to take out, though, unless you got the, the rapid fire. I mean, it can be done. It's a lot easier to farm them, though, when you got this. Just... Just saying. Luckily, you can land on their necks when they miss trying to take a bite out of you. And that won't instantly kill you, but... That will. Getting bit by the mouth. That, that does it. Thought I would... I'll, yeah, I'll claim that was, a, that was a demo. That was a demo, too, just in case you were wondering. Sure, why not? I'll lie to you. I'll pretend I did that intentionally. That's believable, right? Of course it isn't. I don't really know why I'm over here trying to grind. 
Because uh, I can already afford the next upgrade I want. Which is going to be... Well, I, I, won't, I won't even get... Well, well, we'll get to that later. Yes, we will get to that later. Right now, though, time for boss. Bake sale, consarnate, and everything else. Yes. Time to fight the crab. The giant beady eyed crab. Horrible monstrosities on Prince Planet. For some reason. Oh, and I. I. Damn it. I always have a hard time dodging that one swipe. He telegraphs it when he does a little claw clap like that. But he speeds up, and sometimes I just. I can't predict where he's going to stop in time. And of course, you got the boulders, you got this water wave move, you know. You got, you got things to deal with. And you got little mini crabs you gotta deal with. All sorts of adversity. Oh boy. Yeah, the double swipe. Because now he's pissed off. Because he senses, he senses his inevitable doom coming at the hands of Serena S. here. The Doom, which is... He's dead. Congratulations. Alright! Who wants some variety? It's time for a little variety. Time for a magical dino ride. Luckily, this rapid-fire add-on makes this a lot easier than it would have been otherwise, because I can basically rain a stream of death before me and reduce all challenges to dust. If the constant zapping noises bother you, I'm sorry. But they are here, and they are here to stay, at least until this level's over. I managed to get hit, though, anyway. That's a shame. <laughs> Luckily, checkpoints heal all damage. Unless you're playing hard mode, then they don't do anything. So I don't know why you would play hard mode. Unless there's, like, something special you can get out of hard mode. I'm not aware of it. And, quite frankly, I don't want the challenge that badly. I'm fine with the current level of challenge as it is. Uh, for those of you who are bored and happen to be male, just focus on Serena's lovely tit animation bouncing up and down majestically in the jungle air. And we'll be done with this uh, ASAP. Now, just try to stay focused. If you're a furry, well hey, we're riding a dinosaur! How erotic. I don't know how he managed to lose a life there. Somehow we got scrolled off the screen. That counted as a fuck up on my part. Didn't know you could die that way, but now I do. Also, we're fighting a giant wooden battleship floating in the air. Having barrels chucked at us. Our only means of defense, our sole laser pistol. Luckily, we have quite the uh, barrage, but, you know, whatever. In case you missed it before, if you don't fail, if you fail to kill an enemy boss, you know, well, you get another shot, but the boss gets all its health back, so. The game does require a level of competency on your part. It doesn't help when you take that much damage in the very beginning, though. Whatever. Perhaps soon we'll stop being very bad at this, and we'll be able to move on to the next challenge. Whatever that challenge might be. Do you know what that challenge will be? I don't. Because I've kind of forgotten what the next level's all about. 
Perhaps I will be quickly reminded of it when we get to it. There we go. We're doing a good job. Wait, laser, I remember this. I remember the laser now. I could have forgotten. Is it the very same laser that downed us in the very beginning of the game? I don't know. It's possible. Anything's possible. In the world of Ultionis. I, I think that's how you pronounce the, the game. It's name. But we did it. Well, you want to see the game over screen? Maybe I'll demo it to you later. But we've got 12 lives. I, I don't think I'm going to intentionally run through 12 lives. Hope you didn't like that dragon dinosaur too much because he just suicided into the lava. That was very kind of us to let that happen. We are a cruel mistress. Very cruel. Or perhaps it's the game's so way of influence an opinion about furries. It does not like furries. Or scalies. Or any of the genres and subsets in between. Maybe that's what it's all about. So yeah, we are in lava oil field. Full of derricks and magma balls. Three-eyed firemen. More of these enemy spawners. And, uh, Lava geysers. Lots of those. And rocks, which will sink when we step on them. And I don't know how I managed not to get bit by that bad, but whatever, we'll take it. So here we go. Time to continue this. And there's one up. I do believe this is the path I want to take. I think I do want to go upward. This seems correct, to my recollection. See, in this area, her attire is very appropriate. Can you imagine how hot it would be otherwise? The sweat glistening off of her exposed cleavage. See, there you go. If you're bored by the game, just create erotic fantasies for yourself. Why not? I don't really need to go there, though, myself. I, like I said, I actually like this game. Apparently it was made in, like, a... I mean, Game Maker? I played a few games made in Game Maker. I gotta say, this one had a lot more effort put into it than some of the other ones I played. If only more people put effort into projects that they took on, you know. Just, just saying. I mean, why, why bother trying to do something if you're not gonna put effort into it? But yeah, we got a lot of these. I don't, I don't know what the hell they are. Some kind of snakes, crystal snakes, I guess. Why wouldn't they be? I feel like I might have missed something, but I did not. No, there's the S-Coin right there. I was afraid I missed it. I did not. It was up here, guarded by bull chess pieces. I don't know what the hell they were. Locomotive machinations. Do the smart thing and keep pressing right. Jump all the way over here. Let Balzac get through. Oh, there we go. I can't believe I got tossed up by that. Alright! And I think over here... Yes! The Skull Door. And the Shopkeep once again. I could buy the three-way add-on. It's kinda nice, but, you know, I'm going to buy the Mirror Cape instead. As you can see, Serena S is wearing the Mirror Cape. While it does add a new little cosmetic spin to things, it, it also allows you to take an extra hit. <laughs> so instead of dying in three hits, it takes four, which is acceptable to me. 
unfortunately, you can't buy every single power up in the game. You, you, you're limited to one choice per area, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. So now we are fighting the giant, I don't know, volcano larva. Maybe there's a Metroid boss you could think of that it's similar to. I, I'm not really good with the names of Metroid bosses, I'm sorry. I, I'm not that familiar with them. I know Kraid, and I know Ridley, and I know that these two fuckers that I just listed off are not the ones to name in comparison to this boss, because, you know, one's a flying dragon, and the other one, I, I don't know what happened to him. He was one thing on the NES, and then for some reason, he, when they took him to the Super Nintendo, he turned into a horrific green abomination with arms coming out of his stomach. But then again, you know, I saw what they did to Mother Brain, too, so what, why would I say anything bad about that? I'm sure Ridley was different, too. Look, I never really played all of Metroid and Super Metroid. I tried. I tried playing Metroid when I was able to rent it. And how far did I get when I played Metroid in my younger days? I got the Morph Ball. That's about it. I was not able to figure out the complexities of everything else. Because I'm dumb as fuck. Some people like to say I'm not. I, I tend to disagree with them. Oh, I got to see the Justin Bailey thing. Because, you know, the Justin Bailey code, but... I sure as fuck didn't beat the game under a certain time limit on my own or anything. That... That never happened. I know, I, I keep fucking dying to the predictable boss patterns here. I hate to tell you that... That was an accident, but... That, that was an accident. For me rambling, not paying enough attention... I should be focusing on the task at hand. Sadly, I wasn't. But now I will. I mean, it's, it's not like it really matters. We've, we've got 11 lives. I think we're pretty set for being able to get through the game. Although I know at least one of you wants to see the game over screen. Well, you'll see it later. Not right now. Got things to do. The game is called Old Tionis. Uh, how do you spell that? Uh, let me look. I'm trying to read it off the top of the, the game window while trying not to get killed here at the same time. It's kind of distracting. Uh, U-L-T-I-O-N-U-S. Uh, slash a story of petty revenge. That could have ended very badly. Because as you see, I almost got the fuck murdered out of me. But congratulations, it's dead. That was definitely worth a cape flourish. Swish. Whatever. Whatever the hell that was. Alright, this could potentially be the final level of the game. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing. I know I didn't, the first time I played through it. But, you know, I played through it a couple of times. So I, I, I kinda know what I'm doing. Definitely have to say, this rapid fire add on, oh my god, it was worth it. Especially for this section. Which you could either deal with... ...like an idiot... ...or you could see that there are... ...there's a coin there you can grab. And, uh... Yeah, you're gonna see me nearly die a lot here. Because I keep checking over here... ...to the left. There's a reason for that, as you might imagine. Okay, I did die. That's alright. 
As you probably already figured it out, there's a, a secret shop here. And this one, yeah, it's, it's on the left in one of these alcoves, but... I, I can never remember exactly which one it is. But we'll, we'll figure it out together at some point. No, it's not this one. Okay, keep dying. Not doing a very good job of making it. But that's alright. That is all right. Look, I don't know why you're so excited about the game over screen. It's not really that big of a deal. She's basically wearing the suit that she's wearing now, and, you know, like I said... whoop de doo her, her butt's up in the air. It's not, it's not that big a deal. Ah, here we go. This is my stop. And we made it to the secret shop, the final one in the game. I will buy the shield bracelets. That is also showing up on our character. You could also get a hat. It's a very big, poofy hat. But, you know, I didn't go that upgrade route. So we'll never get to see the hat, I'm sorry. No big blue hats for you to see. It's just not gonna happen. But we're pretty decked out. I would say this is a pretty good configuration for, uh, going into this level. There is one more upgrade we can get, though. I, I guess I will get it. Considering so many people, at least one or two, want to see the game over screen, it's the least I could do. And, uh... Of course, you might ask, what's so special about this upgrade? It doesn't really do anything. All it does is, uh, well, if we can get to it. There's Balzac! Say hi to Balzac, he's been captured. But we can free him. And, uh, for freeing Balzac, he rewards us with... our dignity. A.K.A. We, we're, we're actually wearing more clothes now. Which, I guess, you know, is a little bit self-aware. I, I don't know. Yeah, we're wearing clothes, but look at the cleavage still showing through this. I wouldn't call it that dignified. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, I'm just saying, you know. We're wearing slightly more, but still showing our rack off just as much. I guess that's dignity for you. Damn it, I keep fucking that jump up. I don't know why. Whatever, we've made it. We've we finally made it. Yeah, that's it. Just a jumpsuit. You don't even get to see the cape and the bracelet anymore, which is a shame. But that's fine. It doesn't even give you an extra hit. It's just, like I said, cosmetic. You don't have to get it. And that's not the entire reason for helping Balzac through the game. That's just an optional thing you can pick up for doing it. Here we are. We are at the final area of this level. We've got a giant minotaur snake. A little mini boss. He goes down pretty easily with our gun. And behold, the prince's lair. Remember the space prince? We came here for, for revenge against him for insulting us on our not Facebook page. In case you forgot the plot of the game, he sends a giant walker after us in the throne room. I will admit I've kind of forgotten a little bit of the pattern going on here, but I'll, I'll remember it enough, I'm sure, to make it through the rest of the game here. If you did not have the rapid fire add on, this battle kind of tedious. 
duck underneath there. And... At last! He has been defeated. And now nothing stands between us and the Prince. It's time for our final revenge. Right in the nuts. And that summons the space cops, who are very angry that we kicked the prince in the nuts. Luckily, Balzac! Because we helped him out, he repaired our ship. And, uh, we can escape. Also, we remove our dignity, I saw that. I'm not sure why. So we get to play the final level! You can get one ending there, but if you do everything else, you get to play this final zone. The escape from the planet. Normally, if uh, you don't help Balzac prepare the ship or do whatever the fuck he does when you help him along that giant snow beast from the beginning of the game, it'll come through there and you ride off on it. Eh, it's not a bad ending, it's just different. Like I said, music's pretty good. The game looks good. It's short, but it's fun. I think I saw on Desura where I bought it. I think the creator said that he's looking to possibly add more content to the game at some point. I, I don't know if that's going to actually be a thing that happens or not, you know. But, what, whatever. I think it's decent enough. I, I hear my dog apparently dying in the next room. I don't know what that was about. Lots of yelping was going on. I would check it out, but I'm sure it has something to do with him peeing somewhere and my mom being very pissed. So, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm going to just... I acknowledge that it happened. Because, you know, there's really no point. It's gonna keep happening anyway. Not really much I can do. Sad to say. Then again, she might not be doing that. He might have just got caught, caught on, like, the rug or something. He does have very long fingernails. I've tried to trim them in the past. Uh, his reaction to me trying to trim his fingernails is that he likes to violently piss and crap everywhere while making horrible noises. He's like the fucking J. Edgar Hoover of dogs. Where he wants to grow them out freakishly long for no fucking good reason. One of his favorite hobbies is licking his feet. I don't know why. Maybe in his old age he thinks he's a cat now. I, I couldn't tell you. That's that's a good possibility. I'm sure dogs can get senility too. Why would that be limited to the human kingdom? I'm apparently not pressing on the fire button fast enough. I need to kill these things faster. Is what I'm noticing as a problem. Or perhaps, perhaps I just totally don't remember this level being this fucking hard. I don't remember getting stuck here before. I don't know. No, well, whatever the case is, I do keep dying. Mainly because of these blue fangs flying around taking pot shots while I'm trying to avoid the giant orange centipede abominations. Which are killable, but they do take a shitload of shots. But luckily we made it to a checkpoint. I don't remember Balzac leaving us or why, but ah, he's back now. Not that he really does much of anything. I mean, maybe, maybe you can get him to do something. I, I don't really know. 
Of course, he's not here now. So maybe he doesn't do anything after all. Oh, there he is. There he is. But it doesn't matter. It's boss fight time. Here's the boss. Which we're going to die to immediately. Hey, you might get to see the game over screen after all. Because I did kind of forget this guy's pattern. Let's see. I think... Let's see. Yep, gotta, gotta dodge those shots. Go down here. No. No, I was supposed to go up. Okay. Well, now I know what to do. Go down now. Okay, yeah, because then he attacks high. He'll do this little thing. And he'll do that shot thing again. Now go up. There you go. See? Good. It doesn't help that I'm shooting him in the wrong place. You would think head. Head is the wrong place. You want to shoot him in the groin cockpit. Well, I, I guess just calling it a cockpit would be fine. That is what it is. Obviously. And I don't know if I'm mistaken, but I don't think... I'm taking five hits. I think I'm only able to take three. I guess your upgrades don't follow you in the flying segments. Unless I'm just getting hit a lot more than I thought, and I'm not keeping track of my damage. Whatever. It does it does it matter? I don't think it matters. Because it's victory. The Prince Mech has been destroyed. It's been burned. Serena's mission, Serena S's mission, is complete. She can go to return saving the galaxy from evil and not be, you know, douchebags. Fuck douchebags. And there's a message. If the technology ever becomes available that we can track down where you live and you piss us off enough, we're, we're gonna come kick you in the balls. There you go. I guess. Who made the game? There's the guy who made the music. Except for the ending song. There's that guy. And artwork. Inspired by Fantas. I mentioned that earlier. It's by someone named Carlos Abreer. And there's the prince, very furious at what has happened. Shaking his fist angrily. Angrily into the distance. His ball is still very sore, and now so too his pride. Pride very sore. And as the credits scroll by faster than they were before, the picture scrolls to the right just a little bit every few seconds. Eventually, we'll get to see what he's so angry at. Eventually. At some point. I mean, you can kind of see a hint of it now. There's the ship. There's Balzac. And what's that? Oh, boy. Is that the bird? I yeah, the bird is the word. The bird is the word. Kicking the balls and shot the middle finger. She's so sassy, I guess. Luckily, they didn't do anything really 80s or 90s and have her moon the shit out of them, because, you know... Look, I remember Revenge of the Nerds. That was a lot of hams. That was a lot of hams on that truck. Jesus, that was a lot of hams. I don't know, I guess Balzac's a robot or something. I, I think so. Some kind of android. Cyborg. I'm sure there are human components in there. Like a brain or something. Who knows? We'll never know the mysteries. 
because this is it. This is, the, this is the end of the game. That's it. I don't know. Maybe this is like some sort of subliminal message, like saying even after you pick it up, it turns out that Serena comes to accept that she has no dignity and will gladly show off her ass, thighs, and titties to anybody in the name of revenge and justice and, and the moon. I think. Praise the sun. No, luckily no tentacles. Well, I mean, the, the plant boss had, like, tendrils, but I don't think that counts. Look! I would feel empowered. She basically ran roughshod on this entire planet, broke into his palace, kicked him in the nuts, and escaped prosecution. That should be empowerment right there. So yeah, you said you wanted to see uh, the game over screen, sure. Why not? Let's start another game, sure. Let's... No, actually no, just do a level select. Fuck it. What level can I die the quickest at? Do I think? I... Well, actually no, it would probably be easier... Yeah, just start a new game. Because I think you only get one life in hardcore mode. I think. Yeah, you only get one life. You, st you can still take the same number of hits, but this section doesn't even matter. You're gonna... doesn't matter what you do, you end up crashing onto the planet. Whether you make it to the end with the lasers... If there's anything past the lasers, I don't know. There might be. So here you go, yeah. You want game over, I f I'm pretty sure I can just get one standing here. There. It's what I told you it was. Her face down on the ground, ass up in the air, and it says, well, this is awkward. I don't know what you were expecting. Maybe you were expecting her to be naked and getting plowed in the back. No. This game does not condone rape. It just condones kicking people in the balls who insult you on... Facebook, I, I guess. <laughs> and she's not dead. I read some people said she was dead. Look, dead people aren't drooling with stars over their head. No, she has clearly been knocked slightly unconscious. She can get right back up. See, look, she's good to go. Ready to kick ass for another day. The only things that die in this game are animals. Inconsequential, imaginary animals whose emotions and feelings and lives and families are not important. No one cares about them. Nobody. I don't. Why should you? Actually, I don't... I could press escape again. I will just... Or I could fuck that up. There we go. So there you go, that was... In case you need a name again... Ultionis. Don't want to tell you. Hold on, Black is sending me a link. I don't know what this is. I have to look. I ain't playing hardcore mode. What is Cyber Matrix? Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me, Glack. You gotta be... Glack, is this a joke? This has gotta be a joke. You gotta, you gotta be kidding me with this. I mean, I'm not even... I'm not even laughing about what the game is or whatever the hell it is. I don't know what it is. I haven't read the description of what this is. All I've looked at is the number of backers which is 14, the amount of money they've raised, which is $159, the goal they've tried to set for themselves, which is 25 grand, 
and the fact that they only have three days left to go. There's no fucking way, even if- Look, this could be the second coming of Jesus, and they ain't gonna get 25 grand from $159 in three days.